I honestly feel like a whole new person. The hair transformation was unexpected, to be honest. I did not think it was going to be this light, but I absolutely love it. And I've also got my lashes back and I've had my brows done today. I've got a little mark here, so if you can see that, it's just for my brows. to Italy on Monday it is now Friday I am so excited and I have got all my bits together ready to be packed but not gonna lie my room right now is chaos I've just tried on those outfits and done some outfit clips so I can show you as I am trying on I mean as I'm packing my head is a mess right now I haven't done one of these before but I thought I'd try and give it a go I have only got an hour because I'm going to the traffic center because I ordered a dress from Zara that I need to go and pick up so I need to go and pick that dress up and I've got a list on my phone of things that I also need to get from the traffic center <sighs> breathe I am such a list kind of girl when I'm packing I have to write everything down so I make lists like this for everything I also write things down like this and when I'm trying things on I have to write down like what jewelry I'm gonna wear what accessory accessories I'm gonna wear because otherwise I just don't feel prepared I mean some people may think it's extreme extra but it calms my mind and it's fun I enjoy doing it I've literally just got back from a work trip and I wish I'd been more prepared because I know it's just gonna be such a gorgeous place to be wearing dead nice outfits but I just I haven't had enough time to order stuff I think the easiest thing to do is show you the outfits now and then I can show you a little clip. I haven't took pictures in all the outfits, I don't think, but some of them I have to just show you what they're going to look like. You'll obviously see them when I'm wearing them initially anyway, but I thought I would do it this way because I actually really want to try and film one of these. One of the first outfits I've got is this gorgeous. Now, you probably will have seen this. I have put the bags and the shoes underneath without the outfits because I'm just trying to be organised, but you probably will have seen this outfit on Instagram. The set is actually called Buttercream on the label, but I think that's such a nice way to describe a colour. It's just this set. It's so nice on. There is here, it does need ironing, but I'm Joe's going to have to bring, we've got a little... What they called a mini travel steamer so we normally take that when we go away with us because if you put it in your case it just gets scrunched up anyway it's just this top with the zip at the back how would you even describe this i'm not even going to try and go over the top detail because i don't know what i'm talking about most of the time we'll put a little picture here of me wearing it but i'm so excited to wear this we are going to a restaurant and um, you probably will have seen if you watch like italy vlogs and stuff there's i'm not even going to try and pronounce the name but it's the one with the lemon garden with all the lemons underneath and it is just stunning it's so I think this is going to be the outfit for that night because I think it will just go really nicely. People have told me not to wear heels in Sorrento or Italy in general. But for this one night, I am going to have to wear heels. I'm going to wear these Zara pointed toe heels. They are so gorgeous. They're like a wicker. If like, that's how you'd, I'd describe them. But then they've just got this gold heel. But I absolutely love these. Pointed toe heels at the minute. I'm obsessed. And I'm just going to use this little white bag. Jewelry wise, I think... For for a lot of the outfits i probably will be wearing gold jewelry because i have got these new bracelets i don't know if i've shown you but i'm really into my gold jewelry at the minute so um i'm just gonna pack a load of gold jewelry with me and then i have planned some jewelry with some outfits i bought some new ones which i'll show you but for these ones i think i'm just gonna make up when i get there i'm gonna pop these in my case now i probably will rearrange in a bit but i'm gonna place everything in for now and then i've got it all in there i do actually have bags to separate all my outfits in i will probably put this one in a bag i just it's just easier for me when my outfits are in bags and I can get them out straight away. I, I'm one of the I'm type of people that like to hang the clothes up on holiday. Some people go on holiday and think, oh, I'm just going to live out my case. I can't do that. I have to have all my outfits out so I can see them ready to, like, pull out the ones for which day. I can't remember where I got these from. Probably, like, Amazon. But they're just, like, the outfit bags. This is how to do just not outfit bags, but I, I tend to put like my underwear and my bikinis and stuff in these just to keep my suitcase separate. And then I love it. I've got like wash bags that I'll put everything back in when we're obviously coming home because I just like to have everything organised in my case. The next outfit, I am obsessed with this. So I know I say that about all of them, but these these two are probably my favourite ones. I've actually got one more that is a fave as well. But I saw this on Instagram, this belt, and I was like, I need I need that. I don't know what else I'd wear it for apart from this set, but I think it's just really nice. And I showed it to my mum and she was like, you literally used to be in and I can't believe they've come back. But everything does, doesn't it? Everything seems to be coming back round. So do, do you know what I'm going to try not to do? Try and not try and sell my clothes as much because I feel like I sell all my clothes and one day I am going to look back. This keeps happening. 
one day I'm going to look back and think I wish I had that so I'm going to try and stop selling my stuff but I just like to keep replenishing my wardrobe selling things buying new stuff because I've not got any space left this is actually from Urban but I saw it on a G Vintage, a Vintage Fit, one of them. I'll have to uh, have a look. But it actually was only, it was only £36 and they had it in a gold as well. Oh, she's gorgeous. The only problem I'm having is the belt. You won't be able to see on here. Can you see that? The belt is sort of rough on the other side. So when I'm wearing the belt, it's like sticking to the skirt. So I think this skirt, after I've worn it with this, out, with this belt, is going to not be wearable again but it's worth it because i actually really want to wear this outfit it's just this long maxi skirt from bershka and it has a slit up the side it is like a slinky material which is like super comfy which is nice and um, when you especially when you're going for a meal and stuff and it has just got a bandeau top to go with it i can't remember how much this, this one was i got them both in an extra small as well why do they cover the price up sometimes that is random Oh, they've done it on this one as well. I'll tag it down below because I only bought this the other week, so I'm pretty sure they should still have it. But this outfit, I'm so excited to wear it. I think I'm going to wear sandals with this dress just because the heels, it's not long enough to wear with heels. and I don't want it to be able to see the shoes. So I probably will just chuck on some black sandals with this. And I've got this Prada clutch. How cute is she? I literally always forget that I have her because I just, I bought it quite a while ago, like a few years ago. And I just, it's one of them bags that doesn't really go with much and it's literally tiny. I think I'm probably going to wear that just because it does go with the belt. Um, and I am also going to wear a, I got some arm jewellery. I don't remember where I got these from either, but you can get these from anywhere. But yeah, it just pops on. And they look really nice. So I think I'll probably wear this with this outfit. The only thing is it's gold, the accessories are silver. If I've got time, I'll order some silver ones, but I don't think I do. So for now... It's going to have to be the gold one. Probably everyone does this, but on Pinterest as well, I love making boards for anywhere I'm going. So I made a summer wardrobe one. So this is the vibes. Some of the outfits, you'll see, they're, they, they're getting the vibe. Are you going to be able to see? So like these flowy pants and these... Oh, so like these flowy pants and these tops, I've got a lot of this going on. And this is this is the summer wardrobe vibe. Next outfit is PLT again. This is another nighttime outfit, and I'm not sure which what night I'm gonna wear this for, but it is this outfit, and it it reminds me a bit. So if you were going to a fancy dress party and you do a fortune teller, that's the vibe I'm getting from this. Like when I said that to Joe, he was sort of just like, "What are you on about?" I showed him, he understood. So you'll probably understand when I put the picture here. It is just this shirt. It's a cropped shirt, and it doesn't actually open, so it's like properly tied at the bottom um, and then it comes with a maxi skirt which is gorgeous I was gonna wear just the maxi skirt on the road I just ordered the shirt to try but I do actually like it as a set so I am gonna wear this and with this one I have actually thought about what jewelry I'm gonna wear don't you just hate this this is uh, so annoying and I just don't have the time to and all the patience to untangle these oh is it gonna do it for me but I was at my mum's when I, when these parcels were delivered and I tried them on and she said she had a bag of old jewellery bits. She gave me this chain and I thought that would look gorgeous as a belt. So I have got this on. I did want a gold belt. I might order one, but I definitely am going to be wearing this on holiday. But I have got this chain to go with it. And I ordered this necklace from ASOS. I will link this down below because it's so cute. It's just pearls. And I've got, I'm going for a pearl vibe with this outfit. So I have actually got some pearl earrings as well. My mum also gave me these bracelets, which I think not everyone's taste for. It's just the vibe I'm going for this holiday. I want like chunky bracelets. So she's given me some of these and I'm going to try and make them work with the outfit. And these pearl earrings that I also got from ASOS, which are super cute. I'll link these below as well because I only got these the other day. And I also bought these shoes from Zara, which I'm obsessed with. I got these on sale. I think I showed them at my last haul. They are these chunky sole sliders. Ah, oh, I love them. And most of my um, pants and skirts go floor length so i'm glad that i've got some shoes that are going to make the them not drag on the floor because this skirt would drag if not but um i'll show you the skirt but you've obviously seen it on the clip anyway oh it's on the hanger but you will see it in the clip so that is my third night outfit if i drop one more thing why does this keep happening it's because i've laid everything out here to basically show you my to pack my toiletries and it's, I shouldn't have done it because now I can't even see my dressing table. Going on to daytime outfits now. So I've got a few different daytime outfits for different vibes. So we are going on a boat trip one of the days to Positano and Amalfi. And 
that is just so exciting i cannot wait for that so i don't know what i'm gonna wear for the boat day but i have got this set for zara i love her she's gorgeous i actually bought this a few weeks ago in preparation but the rest of the stuff has been last minute but i have had this for a while and i think this was 60 for the set and this does have price on so the shirt was 32 and i think the pants were around the same i've got this hung round because i'm just going to wear this bikini with it the top's in the wash but i'm just going to wear a white bikini underneath it as you can see on the picture on the picture i have actually got a different bikini on because obviously that one's in the wash it's just this shirt and then these shorts i think i've shown this in my last video as well but these shorts oh i love these i saw these as well i'm going to show you the vibe because i feel like you just need to see the inspiration because this is just i think that's jess hunt god pinterest so i saw them and i was like yeah i need them shorts so they remind me like pajama shorts but yeah it's just this pinstripe set so that is going in the case as well but we are going on a two beach days beach days beach clubs we are going to the arienzo beach club I feel like you will have already seen all this because I won't be editing this till I've got back. So you will have seen it on like my Instagram, which is like my friends and stuff. But um, we are going to that Arienzo Beach Club and I'm so excited for that. It's this mermaid's swimwear set. It just comes with this little mini bandeau, which I will show you now. And this maxi skirt, which is gorgeous. And I feel like I could wear this with just a bikini top as well. It's just got the detail at the bottom of the tassels and these cutouts here but i'm i'm gonna wear i don't know what i'm gonna wear underneath this i'm thinking maybe a bikini underneath this and then wearing it for we're going to a place called maya beach and that's like quite neutral so i want to fit in with the fit in with the interior so i think i might wear that on that day but i can pop that in the case now i was gonna do bikinis all together but i don't actually know what bikinis i'm packing yet but i also got this one from mermaid swimwear when I saw this, I thought, is that going to look right on me? Because I don't actually own any bikinis this style where it's just like a bra. But I love it. I feel like I'm really pleased with how it makes my boobs look. And then it comes with these little, comes with these pants. What was I going to call them then? The bottoms. And then they've just got this detail in here, which I'll put in the picture as well. I'm just going to take all of these and then I've got all different colours. I've got like a beige one there, um, a brown and then i've just got my big bag to take for like beach clubs and stuff so i'm gonna put all these in obviously i'm gonna organize it probably in a bit but i'm gonna take all them with me and then i've got options i've got another bikini here that's from miss pack and i will show you this outfit as well on because i have i did take a picture of this one i think so I'll show you the top again the top was came and i thought this is going to be tiny but i think i can get away with it but look how small it is but it looks okay on the picture and then it's just got the matching bottoms and it's like a crinkle material um, I did get that with, I'm going to pair that, sorry, with these trousers from Zara. These are the ones that I got in two colours, um, which you saw on my other video. But I got them in this khaki colour and I also got them in a cream, which I'm going to wear with like a brown bikini. So I'm going to take these ones. And I bought these because I thought they'd be so handy for work trips as well because they'll just go with anything. And I feel like the bandeau tops, I'm going to take some of them just in case I want to wear them in the daytime. I also don't know what the weather's going to be like, so I am thinking semi am i taking too much like too many bikinis and stuff when it might not be as sunny as i'm hoping it's going to be so i am gonna i'm taking a few shirts with me so i'll pop these in i'm gonna take this black shirt um and a white one as well like just linen shirts just to chuck over stuff like that outfit and then i've got a similar one in cream these are just the pants in beige with the bikini top this bikini top is from plt and it keeps falling out. This this is now ended up like this with no strings in because I'm not even bothering. I'm going to sort it out in a bit. These were £25 and I'll show you that now because I have got a picture on with these and that bikini that I've just showed you, which is another outfit for that day. And I've also got some nice sunglasses to take with that outfit. I'm going to take these ones, which I don't think I've worn on holiday yet. I've got a big pile of maybe outfits in there which I'm going to go through because I've got a lot of stuff that I like maybes and I think if my case is underweight, which I think it will be because all this stuff is pretty lightweight and Joe's got his own separate case. We both got 10 kg hand luggage. So I think I'm going to have a lot of room. So I'm just going to put all my spare things in when I get there. If the outfits don't go to plan, I've got more stuff, but I've, I've planned pretty far ahead, so we should be okay. Uh, one more thing, I actually got these sandals. I got these sandals from ASOS and I needed a pair of chunky black sliders because like I said, they... I need them for the longer trousers. I actually think these are really cute. When I first saw them, I was like, am I going to like them? But they, they look really nice on. So I've got these as well. These were probably really cheap. I'll tag these below. Um, but yeah, they look a little bit like Doc Martin ones. So that's the vibe we're going for with that. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of the bikinis because they are 
just ones I've had for a while probably. Oh, actually, I have got this really nice top. I actually got this Fiorucci. Is that how we say it? Probably not, but now it look, you're gonna look at it first and think, what the hell? It looks like a kid's top and it's very random. But the vibe I'm thinking is this top with bikini bottoms, like high, preferably maybe I might get a red one or just this white one, high up. That's my vibe. Just just this top, bikini underneath. Don't know where I'm wearing that to, but I just think it'll look really nice. Also did get this. And now I'm thinking either I might wear it for the daytime or I might wear it for the night. I, can't, I didn't take a picture in this. I'll take another picture and put it here. It is this fourth and reckless. Now their brand is so nice. They have some gorgeous sets, but it is always sold out. And like, I normally get it from ASOS, but it is sold out on there. So I haven't actually ordered off their website, but it is just this knitted dress. It's got an open back, which I'll try and take a picture of as well. But the open back oh, with a tan, it's stunning. The rest of the other bits that I've bought that are in my maybe pile is just stuff like bikinis. So I've also got this Miss Pat bikini because I wanted one this style and I haven't been able to find another one. So I had to get this one, but it does the fit's just not how I wanted it to be. But I am going to try and make it work. But I'm I, there is more that I wanted to look for. And that it's just for them outfits with the flowy pants. That's what I wanted them for. But whether they're going to look right, I just don't know. So we'll see about that. I might move on and do some toiletries now just because that is most of my stuff that I'm gonna have a rate like I've sorted out that I'm gonna pack all the rest of the stuff I probably will do tonight I'm just gonna go through all my rest of my clothes and pack any other bits that I might need for like accessories wise I have got quite a few sunglasses I own quite a lot of pairs of sunglasses so I am gonna take some of my favorite ones like I've got these ones these are like my faves at the minute but like I say I have ordered a pair but these are my fave sunglasses at the minute so oh i am probably gonna take these ones and then i've got like i bought these ones in copenhagen from a thrift shop but like when are we gonna wear these toiletries wise some new toiletries that i have bought is i got this little set from asos now it's it's got the bum bum cream in and i haven't actually used it but obviously i've heard people rave about it it's a mini one how tiny is that i don't actually know what is that oh it's 50 mil so i think the bigger one's 100 but i expected it i mean it's not what i expected the smell is this gonna go everywhere when i open it oh oh do you know what i take it back that is lovely wow if you haven't tried wow that is so good i'm gonna i'm gonna definitely take that away with me because i feel like it'll be one of them things that make you smell for ages like you'll be able to smell it on your body the set actually also came with two other things it came with this body spray wow this pistachio and salted caramel like have you ever heard of her oh that is just lush that'll just be nice to keep in my bag to refresh in the daytime and it also came with this um brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower gel cream which i'm assuming smells the same yeah wow i'm really happy with that i also bought a new whey pomade it looks small on the other one but look at that how satisfying why is it not focusing but anyway i got a new whey pomade to gel my hair back which i'm going to try not to do as much while i'm away because obviously i've just had it done but if it's hot and humid which i don't think it will be i'm going to have to gel it back so that'll be coming with me as well what i normally do when i'm going away is i put stuff in miniatures because for like so most not most of the time but i normally take the toiletries obviously joe doesn't because we can't leave the boys in charge of that we have to be in charge another thing i also really like taking with me is this nux oil i've got this on the planes they actually sell this um on on my flights that i work on so it is just this in this bottle but on an, when you're getting ready for the night time and you put this on your body it just makes you smell and look dead shiny and lovely so i'm gonna definitely take that with me and all these toiletries will just be going in this big bag i also do put things like my micellar water and any like tanning oils in clear plastic bags because the thought of them going out like this the thought of this going all over my clothes is not what we need i also i've got stuff like a tr my travel razor that i'm going to take like mini shaving gel just all my minis that i need i might pop all that in the case now and then i've got my shower gels i, I mean sun creams i don't like these i'm gonna get some more tonight from the travel center because i used them recently and i think i want some of the some other ones a different brand and obviously my Bondi Sands SPF which I use every day. I'll show you my case when it is all packed. I know this has not been a great pack with me. I'm basically just telling you what I'm putting in my case. 
but it's it's been hard this has been hard to do when i've not got a lot of time i also got a new suitcase i'm going to try and show you because it's not packed yet there's just stuff in it <laughs> my work badge is on there let's not look at that but <laughs> This is my case. It's one of the trip ones. Oh, I'm showing you the wrong bloody side. Oh no, yeah, look, you can see. Also, hair products and stuff. For my heat and my hair, I'm probably gonna take my, not my heat and my hair, for styling my hair, I'm gonna take my heatless curlers because I now can't live without them. Started using them like a week ago and I'm obsessed with them. So, they're definitely coming with me. I am gonna take my curlers and the straighteners probably. But whether I'm going to use them, we'll see, because I probably will just use the heatless curlers and then put it up some nights, scrape it back, and then have it down other nights. But I also do this on my phone as well. Going away, I love to make an itinerary on my phone, and I have to make it all perfect. So you see, we'll start off with the hotel plans and then places to go, things to do, places to eat, drinks, places like places to have drinks, and then we've got like the days. So we'll have like day one, day two, day three all to the bottom and then I'll write down what outfit I'm wearing with each of the places we're going to. I will be packing my hand luggage as well at some point so I will show you what I've got in there. That'll just be, I'm not going to take loads of stuff with me, it will just be the basics, my chargers, everything like that, everything that I need for the plane and um, we've got some face masks so we might take them for the plane because that'll be just give us something to do on there. Another dress that I got from Primark was this one here we are doing a cooking class so i need an outfit for that i was thinking about wearing this but then i was thinking that's probably a really bad idea because if i get anything down it which i probably will because i'm just i spill everything but it's just this satin dress but i think that's just so italy i can really just imagine me walking around italy in this so i'm gonna go and start putting everything in the case now so i know you should probably film me doing this but i'm trying to think if i have enough time it's five to six now i've got to leave in 15 minutes so i'm gonna put some of my stuff in the case and then i am gonna show you either tomorrow or so tomorrow i'm working so sunday i'll probably show you the rest of me putting everything together and sorting everything out as i've been talking this is what's going on here just in case you wanted to see the mess that's going on but i am going to put all this in here now so i'll show you when i've done it all a different approach i'm laying out the shoes i'm laying out the bags bikinis are going in a pile here and then toiletries are here that's old bikinis that I'm not taking and then I'm gonna start putting things in my case now. That's just from what I've just filmed. I did chuck it in. Oh, this is actually how I'm gonna pack now. So when I get back from the travel centre, I'm gonna start putting it all in so I'll show you then. But for now, I'm laying everything out. I'm gonna lay the outfits out and then put it all in together to make sure I've not forgot anything. I'm going out for lunch with some of the girls. It's absolutely gorgeous outside. So we're going to Altrigan Market. Just gonna show you a little update, a little update of where I'm at with my packing. I have still got quite a bit to do. And the Zara dress, we had a disaster. Went all the way to the traffic centre, only for that dress. We ended up doing a bit more shopping when me and George went to Yo Sushi. It was cute, but went into Zara, the last shop we went in before the traffic centre closed. And they were like, yeah, it's not here. So I've been talking to Zara on WhatsApp. Then I'll just have a refund instead. So I'm not having getting that dress now. I have ordered some more bits. So I'm, we literally leave tonight at 2 a.m. I am praying that these dresses come tonight. I mean today, because if not... I've got enough outfits, but I'm just, I'm not going to let it stress me out. But you know what it's like when you want a new outfit for every night. But I'll show you where my case is up to, and then I need to leave, so I need to get some petrol before I go to Walter I've, I've little I've got a little Zara dress on today. Like, it's absolutely gorgeous outside. I've got my hand luggage case here. I am a bit of a weirdo, and I the thought of losing my case really stresses me out. So I put quite a lot of my stuff in my hand luggage just in case. And then over here, we've got my case, a lot going on. I'm taking that tote, I don't think I'll use it. And then my toiletries are laid out there. That's Holly and Bell's water. But, oh, I dropped this before. Um, Yeah, so this is what we're dealing with at the minute. Most of my outfits are packed in here and then I am just waiting for, I've got like my stuff in these as well. So I'm just waiting for these few parcels and then I'm gonna finish it off tonight. So I'll show you a bit more what I'm doing. I've sent Joe out to get some more toiletries because I needed some more bits. So he's gone getting them today and some last bits. I'm back from having food with the girls. So when we was in Altrigram, I actually didn't think that I would find any bits to buy, but I did quite well. Picked up some few last few shopping bits and I also, my parcels got here so i'm gonna open them now the first thing i got was this bag now it matches a pair of sliders that i've got it's literally the exact same color so i'm thinking beach bag i actually i needed one this size probably didn't but 
I just felt like, because I'm going tomorrow and I feel like I need extra bits, I got it. And I actually really like it. That was the first thing I got. The next thing I got was, we went in H&M and I got two tops from there, which one of them I am going to take away. I don't know if I'm going to take the other one away, but the first one I got was this. I really like this. I think I'm going to wear this to the airport, to be honest, with a some black trousers and maybe some black sandals. I think that's the vibe I'm going for because... I don't, I don't have an airport outfit and I think that'll look nice on the way to the airport. But I think I might be a bit cold so I'm going to have to try that on in a bit. I might show you them when I try them on anyway. And I also got this little, this was £9 from H&M. I've not been in H&M in ages but it's just a little waistcoat. £9 and it just fits so nice. Like it's very sucks you in and nice. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take, I don't think I'm going to take that but... I did get that as well and £9, can't go wrong, this was 9 99 Things I got was just two little bits of accessories. I got some rings from H&M, some gold ones because I don't actually have that many gold rings. And then from accessories, I got this gorgeous hair clip. Because all my, and it's, the reason I got it was because it holds my hair up really well, whereas my other clips, it falls out. So I got those bits of accessories and then let's open my parcels and see if I'm going to like these. I just propped you up a little bit higher so you can see but I did get a little yellow two-piece so I'm hoping this is gonna it looks so cute online but it on me I just don't know how it's gonna look so it's this little top it's like a lace <gasps> why does it look so big no I hope they sent me the right size I got a I got a size four because it was the only size they had left but why does that look massive <gasps> no uh, yeah it says four right okay it can't be when I put it on it Surely it's not going to be big, but it does look big. So that's what I got in that. And then it comes with a matching skirt. So if I love these, I'm going to be so pleased. Let's see the skirt. I had to get the skirt in an eight, I think. I just had to get random sizes, whatever they had left. And I just love the yellow. I feel like the yellow in Italy is going to look so nice. The next set I've actually got is a pastel yellow. It says cream. So maybe, oh, I thought it looked more yellow online, but I think it is cream. This is a fourth and reckless set, actually because they sell that on ASOS. So this one is, oh my God, the quality of these are insane. It's just these like cord trousers, not cord, sorry. Um, what are they called, this material? I can't think now. These, they are so thick. I might be too warm in them on holiday, but oh my God, I'm so happy with that. I hope it looks gorgeous. And then it comes with a matching top. So let's see if I like the top. It's a waistcoat style top. And I did get this in an eight also. But, oh no, I really like that. I'm really pleased with this. I think that's going to look good. Right, okay, I'm happy with this. This makes up for the Zara dress. And I'll try them on. I'll probably show you them on. So I'm going to try them on in a second. I did get a pair of earrings as well. Um, the girls who I've just been out for lunch with, she picked me these up from Oliver Bonus because I last time I went, they didn't have them. And they're just these like... Can you see? They're like little pearls. Some of my outfits are quite plain satin, like cream. So I thought they'd look really nice because I think the jewellery is going to make all the outfits on this holiday. I don't know why I brought this to show you, but last minute bits that we've just had to get. We had to get a steamer because I need a travel steamer when I'm away because everything gets so creased. And we normally take Joe's mum's with us, but she's away. So we've bought our own. We've got that for holidays. And that's everything. So I'm going to try the last little bits on. I'll show you and then hopefully I can put everything in my case. I thought I'd show you this while I'm trying it on now. This is the top. I actually thought it was going to be a lot. Um, it is quite big, but I thought it was going to be bigger. And then I don't think you can see this skirt. I'm trying to move back so you can see. I don't know how much of that you can see. But I actually really like it. I think this is cute. And I also got a some earrings that I didn't show you that I opened. I didn't think no, it was a pack of three, but I've got these dangly ones which just with the pearls because I like, I'm into the pearls for this holiday. So yeah, that's what I've got. I'm going to go try the other set on now, but I really like this. I'm happy with it. We're going to a cooking class, so I'm thinking this might be my cooking class outfit. I know it's maybe too much, but I like it. This is the best lighting we're going to get because my lights in my room, they're quite bright, so I can't show you, but this is the set. I actually love this, but it's got a bit of a crease here. The pants, I didn't expect them to fit like this, but... I can make it work, it's fine. I really like it. I've got my little new hair clipping as well. She's cute. So I'm gonna go and get everything in the case now and then I'll probably end the vlog in a minute. I didn't realize I'd still have my 
sick. But I'll probably end the vlog when I finish packing because I'm so excited now to just get everything in my case because I've got some gorgeous outfits that I'm really happy with.